Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you the XOC trailer. This is the 2022 model made by Vorshear and handmade in Utah. This trailer is 2,600 pounds, 15 feet long, and as you can see, it is meant to be off the grid, off-road, going almost anywhere you want to take it. Surprisingly, it has almost all the features that you would find in a standard trailer. How do they do it? I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna put 2022 pricing and tons of specs down in the description below, so be sure to check for that. Just a word of caution, options can always change, so be sure to check with Vorshear on what's standard and what's an option on this trailer. We're gonna start on the outside, a little different than usual, but there's so much to see out here, I wanna start right there. This pass-through on the front can hold a lot of gear and it's got the shelf at the top, nice powder coating. You also have diamond plate on the front of the box, so it's well protected. Carpet on the bottom, gonna protect everything not only that you put in there, but it'll protect your compartment as well. You see we have the foot sitting here. This trailer comes with the foot and the caster, so you should have both. On the ground here, you'll see the 120 watt portable solar panel. Now that is gonna keep your battery charged when you're not plugged in. And it plugs right here into the side of the trailer. There is the box that's gonna hold your electronics. Underneath on the frame, a big D-ring. Now, if you're off-roading, you get stuck, attach there, pull your trailer out. Right in front, the breakaway switch. That's gonna lock up your brakes, of course, if for any reason the trailer gets separated from your vehicle. The really exciting part is inside this component box. Let's take a look. I really like the fact that they mounted all the gear against the back wall so it's easy to see. Now on the left is the NOCO Genius charger. That's gonna charge your batteries and it automatically knows what type of batteries you have, when they're full, and it controls it so you don't have to think about that. Next to that is a 2000 watt power inverter. Now that's gonna take the battery power, of course, and convert it to AC power. To the right, you have the fuse for all the electrical here and the battery disconnect switch. In the bottom, of course, whichever batteries, whatever style you wanna use. You could use lithium, AGM, or a standard wet cell battery. In front of the box is the standard chain seven-way plug but look at this, this is a max coupler. This is a 360 degree rotation so that the trailer does not have to follow your vehicle and they can move independently over rough terrain. That 360 degree rotation all the way around, very helpful if you wanna go off the grid. One more thing I wanna show you here, this 30 degree angle on the frame, that's gonna give you more surface area so you get a lot more strength when you weld the cross members. All right, let's keep moving. You have the swivel up side jack with the caster on it. Remember, you do have a foot option there as well. And plug right here. This is where you would plug the trailer into shore power and get that AC power that you would need. Speaking of AC, the only thing on this trailer that will not run off these batteries is going to be the air conditioner inside. So keep that in mind if you wanna get off the grid in hot weather. Okay, let's keep going. On this side, of course, the other opening into that front storage compartment. Now let's look at a few more things here. This diamond plate step on so many campers, it's nice to maybe step into the trailer, but you can't stand on it. And the Vorshear is fully walkable front to back even on top of the wheel well. Super important. You have 19 inches of clearance under this trailer. That's a ton. I know you're looking at this step saying, really? But this step detaches. It's simple to do. Just lift it up, slide it back, and it comes unhooked. And you can, of course, store it in the storage compartment. Gives you the full ground clearance all the way to the front. For someone who's five foot tall, I'm really impressed with the step. I can't help but point out just some of the cool styling features that they've added on this trailer. Just gives it a nice look, having this XOC by Vorshear right here on the side. 
Now, this awning is by Overland Vehicle Systems, and our friends there build some of the greatest outdoor gear. So check them out online if you want to see more. But it opens up so it gets you shade all the way around. One of the best features about this awning, it does come with legs to support it from the ground, but it's strong enough to support itself, so you don't have to use them. You get full range underneath your trailer with that awning. Love that about it. Now next, let's talk about these tires. Of course, they're off-road tires. Standard on this trailer is 33. This is an optional 35 inch tire. Gives you a little more ground clearance and just an awesome rugged look. Right above here, let's take a peek because this is going to be your hot water. The hot water in here is made by EcoTemp and it has a, a hot and a cold adjustment there. It controls not only the hot water, but the flow. Next to that, your regulator. But I love the way everything is accessible here. If there's any leaks, any issues, you can see all of it right inside this panel. Next to that is the shower connection. Let's get this shower enclosure open. And the hose is stored just above it. Very easy to connect. Just open this top. Turn the handle to off, and then it flips right on. Very easy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shower right here outside your camper. Well, if you want a little privacy, there is a shower enclosure just above. Just unzip the cover, open it up, it swings out, and you have a private shower enclosure. Again, I love the ease of use of this trailer. It makes it so nice to have all the amenities, such a small space. Again, take you anywhere. All right, let's keep going. Underneath, there is a molly panel, so you can attach anything here. I think I might look for a first aid kit or something easily accessible on the outside mounted right here. The potable water for the 30 gallon fresh water tank goes in right underneath and it does have a key on it. Great feature. 20 gallon propane tank mounts right here behind the wheel well. You can fit a 30 or even a 40 if you wanted to do that. These jacks, normally when I'm talking about trailers, I'm gonna explain that they are stabilizing and not leveling. Just the opposite here. This is a three point system because you will use the jack on the front and then two leveling jacks in the back so you're not sleeping at an angle. Very simple to use, just drop the pin down and then you can adjust it right up here to the exact height that you need. If you're gonna go off in the wilderness, you need to have the spare tire. This is mounted directly on the back with a swing arm. Underneath, a utility hitch. The utility hitch would be great for bicycles, any extra gear rack that you wanna carry, and this swing arm can hold up to 150 pounds, so that's not a problem. They've also got these extra panels on the side, so anything that could mount to a flat surface can fit there. Rotopacks, axe, anything else that you wanna take out there with you can mount on the side of this swing arm. Let me show you how you unlatch it. Right here on the side, pull this handle down to disconnect it on this side. Move over, there is a pin that holds it in place as well. If you lift that up, this arm is gonna swing out. Now right here, that's gonna put it at the right angle with the trailer. But there is a little bit more that you can open this up to give you some space in the back. Lift up that pin, open it up just a little bit more. That's really handy because you've got this nice shelf that opens up here. And this can be used for, you know, cutting vegetables. You can prep food here. You could use just for an outside table, whatever works. Let's open up the back, take a look at this kitchen. On this door, again, another Molly panel up here with all kinds of attachment points for anything you wanna take with you. I'm not gonna lie, this door is heavy and it's hard for me to open, but it's got a great kitchen, well worth it. Just push on this yellow handle, 
pull out the drawer. You've got a sink on this side with a swivel faucet, this Iceco cooler, and of course, it's got two compartments, so you could have one for a refrigerator and one for a freezer. Let's open both sides for you here. You've also got the stove. Pulls out underneath. Just lift it up. Got to unlatch it right here in the front. Lift this open and you do have wind guards on each side. Now these still have some plastic on them so they won't be white when you're using it. But this stainless steel grill is great because it has high output. It is not gonna blow out when you're out there in the wind and trying to cook your dinner. Now let's close this back up and always latch it back down and slide that right back in there. This tray pulls out so it's very accessible on the back, but there is storage up here above the counter. So I wanna be sure I show you that. This is gonna clip into place when you push it in. These flush handles, you push them in, open them up, and then twist them. That gives you extra security as your trailer gets bounced around on that rough terrain. If you open this up, you'll see that these are about 15 inches deep. So a lot of food, pantry items, and even storage gear can fit in there. One more thing in these storage compartments I wanna show you. Right here inside this cabinet, you have access to the fuse box. Now that's gonna be the fuses for the entire trailer. So if you do blow a fuse, it's gonna light up on the side so you know exactly which one to replace. Just above that, the plug-in for the air conditioner on the inside. On this panel, you'll see the lights right up above on the door, so they're gonna light up the entire area, the water pump switch, and another plug with two USB ports right here. A lot of features on the back of this trailer. Let's keep going, there's more to see. On this side, we have a container that's gonna hold two five-gallon jerry cans. Some people wanna carry some extra gas, some water, whatever it is you need, fits right here in this compartment. There's a ladder that goes up to the rack, and if you wanted, you could put a rooftop tent up there. Very popular these days, and an easy way to sleep more people. If you're camping with kids, they would love to have a space of their own. It's kinda of like their own treehouse fort up there. Before we go inside, I want to talk to those of you who are looking to put something in your garage. The height of this is going to be seven foot, and that is with the standard 33 inch tires. Hope that's helpful. Now let's go inside and take a look. Inside, the first question I get is how tall is it? This is 38 inches from the mattress to the roof. And the mattress is 59 by 80. A standard queen, 60 by 80. So probably you won't miss that last inch of width. But let's take a look at what's inside. Beautiful paneling, it just feels so well made in here. I just don't know how else to describe it. So handcrafted. You do have puck lights on the back here, a power fan, and both doors are gonna have windows that open. So you can have airflow coming in, going out your fantastic vent here, and get a little breeze going in here if it's hot outside. Cabinets are right in front of me here. Again, they have these nice latches that turn about 15 inches deep, and you've got two shelves on each side. In the center, you have the AC, and below that, a 110 plug. So if you're plugged into shore power, you've got a great source of electricity there. If not, you do have a 2000 watt inverter, so that plug should still work for you. The switches underneath is gonna be the porch light and the cabin light, and you have one on both sides. In the center, you'll see a voltage meter. That's so handy because if you are off the grid, you wanna be able to see what kind of power you have left. The voltmeter has a switch to turn it on and off, so that blue light won't keep you awake at night. And to the right of that, of course, another set of USB plugs. Just above it, the switch for the stereo, because of course, you have to have a great stereo in a rig like this. 
You notice the speakers are just above the doors. And remember, there was two in the back by the kitchen. One more thing, there is this nice tray underneath where you could slide in an iPad, maybe your phone when you're charging it, because there really isn't a horizontal shelf in here to use. So that tray is really gonna come in handy. Right behind that, you'll see the controls for the furnace, because yes, you have heat and AC in this trailer. Now that you've seen this trailer, you know it has everything you need and pretty much nothing you don't. It is a great trailer if you want something handcrafted, all the amenities, and ready to go anywhere you can dream up. Thanks for watching. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. I love showing you trailers, so join us again next week. See you then.